happy friday guys welcome back to my channel it is michelle here if you are new here hey welcome go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join this family here okay and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video it's the weekend i am off i'm off today i'm off saturday and i'm off sunday y'all i've been working like crazy okay y'all girl has been working like crazy and today's friday and as a travel nurse like you know what that means Friday has become my favorite day. But before we get into today's vlog, I want to give a quick shout out to Janet Collections for my hair. Thank you for sending me this hair. I'm going to show you guys the initial install. I've had this hair now for about two weeks, y'all, and it still looks so good. So, so good. Thank you, Janet Collections, for sending me this butterfly crochet lock. This is the 12 inch slim lock, and I cannot wait to put this in my hair. They sent me eight packs of the 1B Knowledge Trust Premium Edition Butterfly Locks. I cannot wait, guys. I'm so excited. Um, let me show you the base. This is what we're working with today. Very similar to the other crochet pattern I did the other day. The direct link for this hair guys will be in the description box below check it out this is such a super cute hairstyle for the fall season so check out janet collections in the description box below but yes guys today is my off day when i'm not working as a nurse i try to work on my content creating skills and you guys the internal battle that i have with content creating is so real i feel like i sometimes let my anxiety get the best of me and I saw this post that I can relate to so much and where it said that like you're at a crossroads between keeping some things to yourself and like oversharing. And I feel like once you put yourself out here in this social media world, like you're allowing people to come into your life, you're allowing people to see what's going on in your life. And it can sometimes be hard, especially for someone like me who likes their privacy. It's hard to open up if that makes sense i just want to say thank you to the community i have here you guys just like comments and your likes and just your feedback to me is just always so encouraging i love interacting with you guys and i don't take it for granted so thank you thank you thank you for subscribing to my channel i genuinely appreciate it but like i said guys i'm off for the next three days it's going to be an epic weekend because one of the organizations i'm a part of is having an event tomorrow that i'm helping out at so i'm going to take you guys on the journey i have to create some content right now for a company that um I'm working with and we're then gonna go shopping but I'm about to create the content and then we will head out. Literally I'm trying to focus. Ooh, you can't see me. I'm trying to focus on the piece that I'm supposed to be advertising. But I got this pimple right here. <laughs> this pimple right here so I'm like trying to use the side so I can hide <laughs> god please give me clear skin <sighs> okay take two okay and okay I think I'm done I think I'm done the way I was so tempted to go to work tonight <laughs> which made me realize that us humans are never satisfied. We always want more. You're never satisfied and I need to be careful and, and not let this drive of mine to come in between one, my relationship with God and my relationship with my friends and family. Because as I, like, I feel like as a human being, like you just always want more. You're never satisfied, which is why it's very dangerous to chase money. It is very dangerous to chase money. I worked six days this week. I worked at my travel nursing job and then I had a PRN shift in the PACU. And I'm like, Michelle, you still got a couple more days in the week left, like go pick up a shift somewhere. And it's like, Michelle, just rest. Michelle, just, just chill, chill, just relax. And it's like, I'm making exponentially more and yet I still want more. Moral of the story is be content guys. Don't don't chase the bag too much. Sometimes it, it can be too much. Sometimes you need to rest. But yeah, that's my little two cents. Not much going on here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got inducted into the Sigma Theta Tau Nursing Honor Society. I'm contemplating of accepting it. 
I've always wanted to be a part of it, but I'm like, just to show people that you're smart. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna accept it. Undergrad, I was really upset with myself for not making it. And as a grad student, by the grace of God, um, my GPA right now is 3.8 um, with Chamberlain. So I got inducted into it and I think I'm about to accept it. My last day to do it is like on the 19th. So I need to get it together. <sighs> but anyways, guys, I'm gonna check in with you a little later after I sort out my life. So sorry i did not bring my vlogging camera like i'm vlogging on my phone right now as you can tell the quality is really terrible but i'm on my way to the mall i just I just need to treat myself i don't know what i want that's the problem i don't know what i want i have such a i have a story to tell y'all but i'm gonna tell you guys after i get back home from the mall i'm with my little brother here and yeah i'll catch you guys when we get to the mall <laughs> to go to Neiman Marcus. I think there's one more thing that I want. Um, but we'll see if they have it. I'm looking for Tom Ford heels, so we'll see if they have it. So I'm about to head to church actually, so I won't have time to unbox this. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, which is Saturday. It's a super fun day, so I will do an unboxing then. And I'll have my actual camera and not my cell phone. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Happy Sunday. Wow, Michelle. Happy Saturday, guys. Today is Saturday, November 20th. As you can see, I am beating my face right now. Let me tell you guys. You guys saw this pimple yesterday, right? How massive it was. I went to the mall yesterday. I'll do the um, luxury unboxing a little later, but we'll start with the luxury skincare t items I bought. Hold on a second. But I went to L'Occitane, which is a store in the mall somewhere. My coworker recommended their product, and she's like, this is the best skincare product I've ever used so try it y'all I bought this serum I put the serum on last night I woke up this morning and my pimple was barely there my huge pimple was barely there so I am sold I cannot wait to see how far I go with this this L'Occitane refined blanche serum was $80 um but it is so worth it and then I got like an exfoliating scrub and this was $39 almost $40 um, yeah, I'm gonna use this two times a day and then I'm going to use this nightly and daily actually. I really like the serum. I think it's gonna work wonders for me. I'm just going through it with my skin, y'all. I'm going through it. But that's what I got. That's one of the things I got. But as I finish my makeup, guys, let me give y'all an update. Let me tell y'all. Let me give you guys an update on the drama with that restore therapist. So when I went, oh, this is the wrong brush. Wow. So when I went to work, I actually did not see him for a whole week, so I was lucky. But the following week I went to work, he like saw me. And this is after like ignoring his text messages. He sees me and like my instinct, I'm just, I'd be mad at myself sometimes. I said, hi. <laughs> you know how I was like, I'm not, I'm just gonna ignore this person. Like for some reason, like I just hate awkwardness. So I like instinctively just said hi. And you know, he said hi back. And then I was in my room like dirt later during the day while like he was rounding and then he left his rounds to come into my room and talk to me. And he was like, um, did you see my text messages? And I was like, um, yeah, I was just a little busy. And he was like, do you not reply to text messages? And I was like, um, I'm just a little busy. 
trying to like beat around the bush and then he was like no he was like you shouldn't do that to people and then i just had to straight up tell him that i am not interested like i was like i'm sorry but i'm not interested and that was the most awkward scenario guys it was so awkward but it had to be done and now he understands that i'm not interested and we've moved on from there simple communication <laughs> but it was just very awkward and he's still like commenting on my body the other day he was like have you lost weight and i was like no <laughs> yeah <laughs> He's just a weird person, man. He's just weird. He needs to stop looking at me. That's what he needs to stop doing. But anywho, my face is almost done. I told you guys I'm a part of um, a Christian organization in which I'm going to be helping out at today. So I can't wait to take you guys along with me. I'm going to finish my face, put my clothes on. <laughs> Woo! Put my clothes on. I'm going to do the luxury um, unboxing. All right, so this is what I decided to wear to the event. <laughs> All right, guys, let me quickly do this unboxing. Um, I went to the YSL store and then we went to Marcus. Um, we're going to first unbox what I got from YSL. And I honestly did not know what I wanted, but here's my baby. This is what I thought. She is a cutie and I love her. And this is just such a cute look. I'm such a simple girl, you know. I bought the Lee 5A7 Hobo bag um, in smooth leather. Look at this finishing. It is just such a simple everyday bag and I decided to get it. Like I said, I didn't know what I wanted. And I mean, this caught my eye. I was stuck between this version and the black one. I originally wanted the white one, and turns out I got the last one. So, ah! my makeup get on there. But it is literally the, the cutest everyday bag, and yeah, I'm just I like it. I like it. This was 1,900 something, and like with taxes and everything, it came out to be like 2.1k. So yeah, I'm in love with my new purse from Neiman Marcus. I got this shoe that I've had my eyes on for a very, 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 very long time. I unboxed it. I tried to create a reel. We'll see how that comes out. And my babies are so precious. I have been wanting these shoes for years, guys. Years 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 and i'm gonna get into the story now let me tell y'all something now that you guys have seen what i bought i just want to give a quick story time about where god has taken me from so 2020 was such a difficult year for me and i felt like god really stretched my faith um 2020 god told me to do a lot of crazy things that did not make sense and some including selling the designer items i had so in 2020 the first item that i had that god told me to sell were my cassandra heels i had just bought those shoes i was like oh my gosh i love these shoes like i genuinely loved my ysl cassandras they were in black and i felt like god was telling me to sell them like it was basically it was him asking me to sacrifice something that meant a lot to me. So when I heard the Holy Spirit tell me to sell my Cassandras, I was like, God, are you sure you're talking to me? I tried to deny it, but I eventually like listened to the Holy Spirit and sold my Cassandras. And he didn't want me to keep the money, guys. He was like, sell it and give the money away. Like I'm, I'm, I felt like God was testing me then. Um, and that's crazy how things are making sense now. Um, but prior to me selling those shoes guys, I was very big on like materialistic items I really enjoyed designer items like I would spend a lot of money on stuff like that And when God started stripping those things away from me when he told me to sell my um, my Cassandra's and then it was my Gucci Merma and then it was my Louis Speedy 30 and then my Tory Burch like I just it was just it was just him just taking things away from me and during those times i didn't understand why god was telling me to do these things oh my god i'm giving you this i'm sacrificing this like it doesn't make sense but i'm trusting you to to make, make it make sense one day and to fast forward to this year and going to the mall yesterday i didn't even know what i wanted guys it brought everything in full circle like retrospectively 
God was teaching me discipline. God was changing my mindset surrounding these materialistic items. And I feel like just going to the mall yesterday, comparing my mindset then to what it was years before that, I'm like, wow, Michelle, you have grown so much. I hope that this video encourages someone to trust God. If he's telling you to do something completely ridiculous, completely out of like it doesn't make sense to you believe that the years to come there is a lesson that you're going to learn from it there's more that he wants to give you and that's where why he is testing you to see where your heart is so i hope that this video encourages you to really trust god because just from my short time of really seeking god the process of trust has been very difficult for me but the way god has molded my heart into being obedient to his voice there's a process that he takes his children through and i feel like this was my process and where he was teaching me discipline he was teaching me not to covet these material things and where he was teaching me just lessons that i will forever hold dear in my heart like it's just god is just so funny and his sense of humor is just hilarious like a whole me a whole me someone who used to love designer items i went to the mall and i couldn't decide on what i wanted because i didn't have a wish list stored in my mind because I don't focus on things like that anymore. It's just, God is just funny. He's hilarious. But I really hope this video encourages you guys. I'm about to now go volunteer with the Christian organization I'm part of, True Worshippers. We're having a conference where, you know, Phil Thompson's gonna be there. Um, Diana Hamilton's gonna be there. If you're Ghanaian, you know who she is. Um, it's gonna be a blast and I'm about to head over right now. So let's go. Just made it here, guys. Oh, let's go in. I really don't want to put this mask on, but I have to. Here's my friend Martin. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for the show. It's going to be awesome. I dragged my little brother here. He's like on a muse. He does look like you. I was like wondering. No, he don't. He does look like the top of his, his eyes. It's the eyes for me. We don't have the same eye shape either. Yeah. Emmanuel, look up. Yeah, it's the eyes for me. <laughs> All right, Martin. <laughs> I kind of want to walk down there, but I'm shy. No, come on. I'll lead you. Let's go, let's go. I just want to see the sanctuary. Let me show y'all. This church is so big. This event is going to be so big. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Who are you vlogging? Yes, ma'am. That. The sanctuary is big. Sorry. Look at this place. Waiting for it to start, but I am actually. I just have to say, I'm coming to you. I am coming to you. Look at us serving the Lord. Hi. Michelle's channel, Life of Michelle. This is gonna be so awesome. But I'll talk to you guys a little later. so much fun god is faithful god is good just being in his presence was just amazing also got a picture with phil thompson oh my gosh oh my gosh i'll post it in here for y'all to see i'm home now i'm going to close out the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already i'll talk to you guys in the next one i'm about to take off this makeup and sleep bye